the most exciting thing that came out of J.P. Morgan in my book was a collaboration announced that was called Moonshine 20 or Moonshot 2020. Yeah, this is probably the I think the biggest news in in a normal year. This would have gotten investors' attention and made them pretty darn excited. I, you know, Patrick Sunshong, he is um, probably I, I'd call him in the top five of biotech entrepreneurs. Um, you know, he's a billionaire. He's successfully built and and sold two multi billion dollar companies, um, and his latest venture, if you will, is Moonshot Twenty Twenty, which involves a bunch of different companies, academic um, research organizations, government organizations, doctors, insurers, payers, you name it. He's brought them all together and their goal is pretty crazy. I mean, they want to they want to take as, as many drugs as they can, figure out how to combine them together. They want to map out the genomes of 100,000 people, figure out what, you know, what kind of cancers they have and how best to attack them. And basically, you know, spark a major revolution in cancer treatment over the course of the next, you know, five, five plus years. And the thinking behind this is that when you look at cancer immunotherapies, a lot of these drugs work best in combination, but it can be pretty tricky to test combinations of your drug with some other random company's developmental stage drug. And so if you can bring them together, the hope is, through this project, they can test them in combination a lot more effectively, and then they can track it. And you have all this information about the specific genetic mutations that each of these patients have, and you're going to have them ideally in this big old database that you can there like plug into and see exactly what works for what set of genetic mutations and information that you have and hopefully be able to get really individualized and effective care to market faster. Yeah, I mean this is it is a moonshot, right? But I mean, it, you know, typically speaking, um, combination therapy trials have involved, you know, some sort of a novel new drug that maybe is still in the clinic. Uh, and how does that pair up with something that's already approved and on the market? Um, and you're right. This is really kind of unique and game changing in the way that they're looking at saying, okay, let's take everybody's pipelines and let's dive into them and see in those pipelines what drugs may work best with other drugs um, with the goal of, of creating therapies that are less toxic to patients than they are today because obviously chemotherapy is, is a shock and awe way of attacking cancer um, and also that are more effective and a big focus of this is going to be on immuno-oncology um, you know, focusing on how do we re-engineer the natural killer cells in our immune system and the T cells in our immune system so that they're better able to find and destroy cancer. And that, if they're able to, to do that, then we could see a really big change in, I guess, the, the treatment paradigm uh, and how we, we, we battle back against cancer. Some of the companies that are involved in this are Amgen, Celgene, GlaxoSmithKline, Networks, and also, interestingly, both Independence Blue Cross and Bank of America, which is a self-insured company. Um, also, yeah, I'll add in yeah, there. Yeah, what's really interesting about that is that, you know, you for the, for the first time that I can remember is you actually have payers, insurers, um, Bank of America is self-insured, working together with these companies on developing um, these these next generation therapies. That's that's kind of revolutionary. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Independence Blue Cross has about 10 million people that they cover in 34 states in D.C. They said that they'll cover the patient costs related to the trials for its members, and they'll cover the genomic sequencing too. In yeah, and what's what's also interesting too, it's jumped out at me uh, just as you were going through that list of names that are participating in the moonshot uh, is Celgene. Because, you know, anybody who's followed uh, Patrick over the years knows that, you know, his last company was Abraxas, which is the maker of Abraxane, which he sold to Celgene, um, you know, just a few years ago. I think there's also some networks partnerships between Celgene and networks. Well, he is an entrepreneur. Um, so, you know, he, he's created this moonshot and, you know, he's tucking in his own uh, his own companies. They're doing some pretty interesting things, including Nankwest. Um, so yeah, absolutely.